Hi everyone, this is just a quick video. I'm just going to discuss how your friends and your family don't really understand what you went through unless they went through it too. When leaving the narcissist, you cling on to somebody, a friend or a family member, to cry your eyes out and to talk about your issues that you have with the narcissist and what's happening. At first, people are gonna be there for you. Hopefully, people are gonna be there for you. But then after a while, you kind of keep talking about what happened. You kind of keep going back to the past and thinking about experiences and situations that you went through with the narcissist. Then at this point, that's when friends and family start to get quite bored of what you're talking about. When it's all fresh, they're there for you, they'll be a good listening ear, but after a while, they don't wanna hear about the narcissist. They probably didn't like the narcissist in the first place. They don't want to hear you talk about them. They don't like them. So you feel like you're alone now because you feel like, you know, if I call this person, they're not gonna pick up the phone because they know you're gonna be on the phone crying and talking about the narcissist and it's been two months, three months now, get over it. That's what people are thinking in their head. If they're not saying it, they're thinking, get over it, move on, find someone else. But it's not that easy. That's why also I started this channel because when I left, I felt like I was alone and I couldn't talk to anyone. I came to YouTube to watch videos. Sometimes you need to get it out of your system in order to heal. I had therapy, so that was a huge help for me to get these feelings out and for somebody to actually understand what I went through. But sometimes you need somebody who's actually been through it so you can exchange stories. So you can say, wow, that sounds just like my story or wow, um, that sounds worse than what I went through or, or wow, this is just, they do the same thing, a, a manual of how to be a narcissist and all of them read the same thing regardless of gender, race, sexuality, language regardless of what it is they are reading that same book and you're just thinking that's crazy your friends and family don't understand this is why it's so important to connect to people who also have gone through what you've gone through but we have to be careful because there are narcissists out here who are acting like they have been abused and they are using everything they've done to somebody else as their story you do need to be very careful we still need to use discernment we still need to trust our gut and our intuition and we still need to test the waters with people you know we can't be too trusting we still have to trust people because it's important but we can't be too trusting of everybody not everybody's out to get you and not everybody is for you okay you were in that relationship Everybody but you could see what that person was like. They could see that they were manipulating you. They could see that they were using you. You couldn't see that. Maybe you could see that, maybe you were just blind to it. Maybe you didn't want to see it, but they could see it as clear as day. So because of that, they don't want to hear about it anymore. Friends and your family will not understand what you went through. That's why it's so important to have a journal, to get those feelings out. There's so many, there's so many things that you can do to help you heal. If you do like this video, please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe, and I will see you for the next video.